what's up guys we're back with another video if you are new here my name is sammy and we're the mermaid gang this is where you can come and suspend your disbelief i am your favorite manifestation coach so if you would like for me to help you dissolve whatever's between you and your manifestation go ahead and uh sign up on my site below i have mentioned I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it all week. I am cutting back on coaching. And I'm going to be putting more energy into my VIP group. Um, the VIP group is a great place for you to get help from me and my coaches. Because we go live in there. We answer your questions. We do challenges constantly. Yeah, me, Mama Mermaid, Flossie, Andrea. Like, you or there, There's basically coaching for $45 a month in the VIP and I will be putting a little more uh like exclusive content in there now that I'm going to be coding cutting back on coaching some I'll be able to put like little short videos for you guys in there and whatnot you can sign up through my site below we also still have the free group too so don't feel obligated to join VIP we still have the free group and we are still active in there my mods go live in there uh Netta goes live in there so don't worry, you're not going to get neglected just because you don't want to pay for a group. I'm just saying the VIP is a cheaper option for coaching now that I won't have as many spots available anymore. Okay, so this is a this is an entire SP video, okay? This, this is an SP video. If you look for SP videos, this is the one for you. Let's, let's talk about you guys trying to force the 3D with your SP specifically why <laughs> why are you trying to manifest over here and force over here um i mean force like trying to run into them uh texting them and then reacting when they don't text you back and then at the same time when they don't respond at all or the way that you wanted them to then you react like that's the end all be all that's it what are you doing what are you doing? So let me give you, let me give you my absolute best advice that will cover 3D advice and what we were normally conditioned to believe. My best 3D dating advice to go along with my best manifestation advice when it comes to relationships. I have always been very good at relationships okay always I have never been broken up with in my life and I'm about to tell you why I'm about to give you the key for success in the 3d and in manifestation and how to keep the two working for you together so you're manifesting your SP right you've got your affirmations I'd say obviously use whatever he or she whatever it applies to you your your person um he's so in love with me he loves talking to me he texts me constantly he loves me my boyfriend okay we're just gonna say this those are your affirmations or even just one affirmation he loves being my boyfriend he loves being my boyfriend we talk all day every day we'll use those two because that sounds more like what i would do okay he like of course he likes me like he loves being my boyfriend we talk all day every day those are your affirmations that you're repeating over and over those are your thoughts that you're having you know those are your uh think is think as if thoughts that you're repeating in your head as if you're telling someone as if this is true as if of course this is how it is why would it be anything else okay you have your affirmations and then in the 3d you're texting him and then you're like, oh my god, he left me on red. Great, he doesn't like me. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. Here's what you gotta do. You got your affirmations. You're affirming. In the 3D, guess what? You don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck in the 3D. Because I'm gonna tell you, humans are conditioned to believe that people want what they can't have. So as long as you are chasing him, 
he's not going to be interested in the 3D. He's going to show you that he's not interested in the 3D. You're going to react. It's going to cause more resistance and it's going to be a harder, longer process until you get through all of your self-concept and you get to a point where you have had to work on yourself and control this shit so much that you don't even like him anymore because you've been causing problems in a 3D and you've had to keep problem solving in the 3D. We're going to talk about problem solving in a second too. There's no need for that. Take what you are basically already conditioned to believe and make it work for you, okay? So while you're doing your affirmations consistently, you're thinking as if consistent, consistently, the idea, the idea in your head is that this person loves talking to you and they love being your boyfriend, okay? In the 3D, you need to act like you don't give two fucks about him. You don't give a fuck if he never texts you again to him or to her. It needs to look like you are not desperate. You do not care. You don't even think about them because let's be honest, the way we're conditioned, playing hard to get or whatever you want to call it in the 3D, is what gets people's attention when they know that you're chasing them they are not going to be bothered to do anything to get you because why you're already chasing them you're already desperate for them they know this what do they need to do there's nothing they need to do they already know they're in control stop giving them that control in the 3d in the 3d you literally need to not give a fuck if you see them, walk right past them like you did not even notice them. Don't text them. If you're in a situation where the person is a dick to you, if they're being a dick to you and they're saying hey, well shit to you in text message or whatever the case may be, you do not text them back. You ignore them. And in your mind, you be affirming, he is so fucking obsessed with me. Like, he loves me. He loves me so much. Like, he cannot even stay away from me. Look how much he's texting me. I have literally helped someone manifest their person back while their person was being a complete fucking asshole. And all she did was in the 3D, she was like, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Just that careless fucking attitude. It works in the 3D every single time. But in her mind and in your mind, you're going to be affirming your affirmations because that's just how things work I understand that I teach manifestation and I understand literally everything is a manifestation yes I do but let's also be very honest about this um we have to be able to manifest and still manage our 3d while we're manifesting I mean that's just common sense so in this case you're really usually conditioned to believe that people want what they can't have. So if you will keep that I don't care attitude, your assumption of that, of that being effective will work on that person while you're manifesting them to be who you want them to be. And also you will not have any resistance because you're not doing things that would cause resistance. Now you've got this I don't care attitude. It's building confidence in you from the 3D and in your self-concept and you're doing your affirmations it is literally a win-win situation for you okay as i was saying you yes we manifest everything yes we're in total control of everything yes we can change every single thing we want but here's the thing we still have assumptions about the 3d and yes we can change them my god yes we can fucking change them but let's be realistic let's make this as easy as possible rather than trying to rewire our entire fucking brain and everything we were ever conditioned to believe why do that unless it comes up and you feel you want to change it let's make this easy we still need to operate in the best way possible between our 3d and our manifestation you know our mental world and make things as easy as possible because the more the easier it is in the 3d the easier you go ahead and make it in the 3d the easier it will be 
to keep a good consistent mental diet or to think be able to think as if the easier your circumstances are in the 3d the easier you can make them such as okay I'm gonna just act like I don't give a shit because I know that works I know that if I act like I don't give a shit they're gonna give a shit because they know I'm not desperate for them and I don't care and it's just something that always works when it comes to dating. It works every time, it's foolproof. So if you can do that, have this power, you have your power, you take your power back in the 3D, while also mentally taking your power back and affirming them to be who you want them to be, it is just a win-win and it is so much easier and it works every fucking time. But another thing I wanna talk about when it comes to you guys manifesting your SPs is that you tend to want to problem solve constantly and what I mean by that is you will be affirming and manifesting and then they'll do something that you don't like and you think oh my god I have to revise this I have to revise this I have to fix this I have to fix this I have to fix this uh, this he didn't react the correct way he said this to me he whatever you're constantly trying to problem solve and you're losing sight of the actual goal when in fact, if you would just keep your eye on the goal and you would just keep affirming the same thing, no matter what you see, no matter what you see, keep affirming the same thing, keep thinking as if, then those things would go away. Those things are just little bumps. You just keep driving. You don't drive down a road and fix every fucking pothole that you come across. You don't do that, right? You just keep driving. Keep your eye on the goal because when you're trying to problem solve, you're literally losing sight of what you're manifesting. You're so busy trying to revise every little thing thinking that these are problems or these are indications that you're not getting what you want when that's not true at all. The fact that the person is even acknowledging you in the first place, no matter how they're doing it or that they're doing something differently that line up with what you're affirming even if it's in a negative way at the moment means that it is working and that you need to keep affirming and keep thinking as if you need to keep affirming the same thing you need to keep doing exactly what you are doing no matter what you see okay no more problem solving you don't need to do that you just need to keep affirming and always take any opportunity you can to make things easier in the 3D. Do whatever you can do to make things easier in the 3D without stressing yourself out about it. There's no need to force anything. I'm not saying to force anything. All I'm saying is that if you're manifesting someone, you know we all pretty much have the assumption that when you don't care, that's when they care. So act like you don't care. It's simple. It's a very easy thing. It's not forcing anything. It is really an easy way for you to not react and keep on track in your mind okay all right thank you so much for watching please be sure to like share comment and subscribe and we out